Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Perpetual here. If you're new, you are warmly welcome. Guys, today we are making some delicious chicken stew. Come along and let's get started. Alright, so I just started with my chicken. I washed it and I've put it into my pot. Guys, I am making a large batch. And then I have just gone in with a few tablespoons of my all-purpose seasoning. And I also had some leftover chicken that I have already seasoned in the freezer. So I added that and then went in with one seasoning tablet and a mix of ginger, garlic, and onion blended together. All right, so to save a little bit of time, what I'm doing is while the chicken cooks, I'm going to start prepping the ingredients for my stew. I have already blended my onion, pepper, and green bell pepper, and I'm going ahead to start blending my tomatoes in batches. And of course, you want to check on your chicken as you go. And once the chicken is nice and cooked, I'm going to start frying it. Frying doesn't take too long because I have steamed the chicken for quite some time. So I'm going to go ahead and start frying it until I get a nice golden brown color. And as usual, I'm going to be doing this in batches because again, it is quite a big batch. Once I'm done frying, I will not let this oil go to waste. I'm going to strain it just to get the bits of chicken out of it, or at least a lot of it out of it. And then I'm going to pour that oil that I used to fry the chicken and add my pepper mix to it. And like I mentioned, it is onions with some pepper, which is habanero pepper, and some bell pepper, which is any color you prefer. I had green, so that's what I used. Now, after these ingredients go in, I truly believe that you need to let it cook for as long as possible without burning it. So you want it to cook down and really reduce and get those flavors to really develop before you add your tomatoes to it. And at this point, I feel like I've reached it. So I am adding a big batch of blended tomatoes. And guys, I added about half a cup of tomato paste to the tomato mix. And then I am going in with a lot of stock, the chicken stock from when I steamed the chicken because guys, oh my goodness, ginger, garlic, all the spices from the all-purpose seasoning, I cannot let that go to waste. And this cooked for a good two hours. Now guys, of course, you want to keep an eye on it and regulate the heat. If you're using a cold pot like me, you want to keep an eye on it even more. All right, so... I'm putting in some curry powder. Um, this is about two to three tablespoons of curry powder. I am adding one more of the seasoning tablet. You don't have to, but I like to add it. And I am also going to go in with some dried rosemary. Now, what I do with rosemary, because I don't like it, I don't like seeing it so much in the stew, is I usually blend it up when I buy it dry so that it is slightly smoother than what I originally bought it at. And at this point, I'm going to add some huge chunks of green bell peppers into the stew. I like it for the aromatics, but I cut it big because I'm going to end up removing it because my kids don't like to see anything in their stew. It has to be nice and smooth, which is actually more the reason why I also blend my onions at the beginning. And guys, I went ahead to add the chicken. And guys, when I was putting the chicken in, I did not press record on my phone, so I did not record. You'd think I'd be learning by now, but it is what it is. And then I adjusted the seasoning just by adding a little bit more salt because I felt like it needed it. And guys, I let this cook down for another half an hour to 45 minutes because I really wanted that richness. And guys, look at that. It is absolutely perfect. And I put it in batches so that it could go into the freezer. And the one that we're having today is just with some rice, some spaghetti, some makeshift veggies or salad on the side no dressing yet but guys it is absolutely delicious i feel like rice and stew is underrated but guys when it is done right it is amazing i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you will try this amazing stew out very soon 
And my loves, of course, I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this delicious journey. Take care, guys. Bye.